Hello and welcome back. All right, so let's see, uh, let's add some more, some better navigation here so that we can uh, uh, navigate somewhere else. Actually, now I miss that uh, separator here. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, we are logged into the admin section here. So let's see if we come from the home page, how to get here. We click dashboard and we are here. So we need another uh, click to get back to the home page. Let me see what, um, let's see, Earth, um, Globe, okay, World. Wait, why? This doesn't look very world-like. I'm looking for an icon that has planet or something or World Wide Web uh, globe. I guess it's globe, right? Globe two. Or maybe house. Hmm. House door feel. Let's try house. So what I want to do is go back to the index. Uh, page for the admin this is the html file so i'm just looking for the word pages uh, let me find it okay this one right here line 450 something okay i just want because that's a line separator so i'm going to cut that and come back to admin header view so i'm down here where there's the sidebar and I want to add a separator here which I'm going to name uh, maybe go to something like that I'll copy this profile put it here and then here I will say front end or I would say uh, home like this so we can go back home if we want to to the front end of the website and then here i'll change this to globe since that's the icon okay so let's see how that looks like refresh and there we go nice nice so if i click there we are back here if i click here we are on the dashboard very nice now if i click on the word profile here it doesn't take me anywhere so this is what we want to change so i want to see to show you how to add new pages to the admin section so apart from adding a link to the sidebar you have to add the actual page so what we would do here is this already the way things work is this uh, our routing system will check for admin as a page a controller and then if it finds it, it's going to try and find the profile function inside the admin class. So if a profile function exists, that's where it will take us. So let's confirm that. So I'm going to open uh, in the controllers, the admin controller. So within this, you see there's the index function, which is the default. But if I now duplicate this, and change this to profile. Now we have a profile um, function, right? So let's change that to profile as well. This one should be dashboard, actually. Like this. And this one will be profile. And then uh, what else? So here, instead of admin dashboard let's load a different view entirely so this one will be profile and let's make sure that view exists so let's go to admin section let's get the there's a dashboard view but let's right click and create a new one so i'm going to save this one as the profile view so i will you can prefix everything with admin if you want, but it gets tiring after a while. 
it's okay for the header and footer because they are repeated in the front end. So profile view, save. So there we go, we have profile, that is nice. But I've opened the dashboard view just to copy the header and footer. But let me show you before I do that, the profile view is like this. I'll type profile and save. So now I'll refresh the page and you see what happens. So if I go back, I'm in the dashboard, I click on dashboard, everything refreshes. But if I click on profile, you see this is what I get. And that's because I haven't included either the header or the footer. So let's try and include just those two like this. So header and footer in the profile page. And this is what we get. Very nice. Uh, though I think we needed that main thingy. Uh, it seems because let me go back to because my footer has disappeared into the top there and that doesn't look good. So maybe we need just this main, right? Right. So I'm going to cut this main out from dashboard view and go to the header and put it right at the end like that. And then come back to dashboard view. Let me cover up that a little bit better. Let's go to the end. Of course, we need to get the end of that main save and put it in the footer at the top. Okay. That way, at least the opening and closing main tags are included in the header and footer. So we don't need to include. At least that's better because now you can see my footer is back to normal. Okay, so profile is empty, dashboard has something, that's good. So I can include my, um, this, uh, what do you call these guys? Breadcrumbs, right? This is dashboard, that's fine. If I click on profile, I don't see that. But we do have a profile page here. So if I click on profile, this is the original HTML. This is what we see, right? So we can copy this and put it on our profile thingy there. So what I would do is go back to templates in the HTML and I want to look for the profile page. Now, when I click, there's a link there. So it's users profile. That's the name of it. So I'll look for you right at the bottom. So what I'm looking for is the main tag. So I'll type main like that to find it because I know everything inside the main tag is what I need. So select everything to the end, push back until you are inside the main, copy. Let's close the HTML file so we can avoid uh, overriding it. Let's close everything we don't need. So right here in the profile view, now I can paste whatever is in the middle right there. And so this is what it looks like on the original. This is what ours looked like, but now we can refresh and there it is. Look at that, very nice. So now we have dashboard, we have profile, but the images are not showing because of course there are some sources here that are not properly linked. So let's look for them. So you can do a search for src there we go so anything with src is equal to assets let's copy that and then put root there slash uh, nice admin slash assets and if we refresh there we go things are looking good alrighty that is nice okay so now we can go ahead and add editing to our profile and uh, names here, right? So the question is, how do we know what profile to view here? What profile are we viewing? Because if we're viewing somebody else's profile, for example, the profile can have a slush and then an ID of the user we're trying to view, maybe ID number four like this. So it will be admin slash profile slash four. 
In this case, the four at the end makes no difference because we are simply loading the profile page as it is right now. But the way our routing system works is that the first item is the page, the second one is the function, anything after that is included in the is received together with the function. So this four right here will be received as an argument. If we come here, it will be received as an argument in profile here like this. So if I say ID like this, that four will be passed into this one. So if I expect maybe two values here, maybe slash four slash six or slash page, then I have to make provision here. I would have to say another ID two, uh, maybe the page number here, etc. The problem is these won't always exist. So you have to make them optional by putting equal signs on them and adding default values like no, for example, like this. So if you're expecting that it's possible to have three items here, just put ID or variables to catch them, to catch those, and then make sure they are optional for when they don't they are not passed in, you don't get an error. In this case, we expect just one with the ID here. We can ignore the rest. So we'll set it to a no value just in case it's not there. So let me just show you the error that will occur if I don't do that. So I'll refresh here, I won't get an error because if four actually exists, let's remove it. And then you see it's saying too few arguments on the function profile admin profile so not enough arguments so let's do that and that error should disappear there we go there we go okay very cool now what i want is to read actual data from the users table to fill into this profile section so that we actually have proper data here but before that, I'm going to put another item on the tab here because we want um, the user to start uploading things like courses. So what we'll do is go to the um, admin view, admin header, down at the header here. You know, I really should move the sidebar to a simpler file so it's easy. I don't have to scroll down all the time. So what I'll do here right after profile, I will duplicate profile. Actually profile should be down here. Here I'm going to put videos, not videos actually, courses. That's better and change that to courses. Let's look for an icon that is fitting of courses. So. Let's see if there's anything here that says course. I don't think, I didn't think there was. Since the uh, courses are in terms of video, let's try video. Okay. Mm -hmm. So entirely up to you here. Uh, what icon you prefer in this case? I kind of like this one, it's film. So. You can use any of these really, it doesn't matter. Feeling, yes, let's try that. Refresh, and there we go. So we have dashboard, we have course. I think maybe video would look better. Let's try um, camera. Hmm. This one maybe, camera reels feel. Camera reel, reels. Let's try that one without the feel. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, so courses, we will add that page. It doesn't exist right now, so we'll get the index page instead, but at least profile, there will be courses, dashboard. Okay, great. So let's see how we can read information from the profile and edit it.